What's going on? I'm going to show you how to set up a custom email address or a custom domain using Apple. Let's get into it. It's really, really easy. So I have my uh, iPhone here and I subscribe to the iCloud uh, Plus, I guess. And with that, if we scroll down, you can see custom email address. If we click that, we have a few things here. We have uh, one that I've added, so you can buy a new domain, you can add a domain of your own. And so I've already added one, and so I'm gonna walk through and actually add the second one. So really, really easy. You click on, if you were going to start from scratch and you already have a domain, you just click on add domain, and I usually do only you or you, know, you or someone else. Uh, if it's just you, click on this, and then it says email, existing email or no email addresses. So if this is a brand new one, then you would obviously click no email addresses. If you are already have one running, then you would do existing. I already had one running, so I clicked the uh, use existing. This new one doesn't have any one going at the current moment. So I'm gonna be doing no email addresses. And so that's where I am right now. So uh, right here with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and click on view instructions. And this is where you're going to put in your MX records and your uh, pretty much all your DNS records. Really, really easy to do. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do this. I use Namecheap, there is a link down below, but let me bring that up so you can see uh, how to set this up because uh, this is Namecheap is where I bought mine uh, domain. You might have bought yours from um, GoDaddy or one of the other ones, but let me show you how to do this. So I'm in my DNS, advanced DNS records for Namecheap, and this is where I'm going to put them in. So go to your domain, go to advanced DNS, and look for custom MX records. There's gonna be a few things we need to add. All uh, right above here is some of the things you need to add. So it's important to uh, double check your work because under host I put MX instead of the at sign. Uh, and so it should be MX instead of obviously the at sign. And so we're just gonna click on finish up these records. And so it should work now. Uh, there we go, we are set up. So now we have our name here. So now we need to actually manage our uh, mail. So create a mail. This is just probably going to be like hello. Um, so we have hello at brennanduff.com. And now we have our email address. So we'll click back. Um, and so if we send ourselves an email, um, I believe we should have it all set up. So we can do uh, hello at brandonduff.com com test email and we'll see if this works hi so send this out and now we have uh, a few inboxes here uh, they're all going into one but we'll we'll do fix that up later but this one is going out it seems like hello for uh, no and uh, if we uh, go here you can see that our email is did indeed is, get sent out and boom hello at brandonduff.com so that is how you set up your custom email or domain using your phone or not really a phone but using uh, iCloud and uh, that's about it so I hope this is helpful very easy to set up and uh, you can do it in under five minutes peace